we shall reflect on the life of Saint Kuriakos Elias Chavara. Father Kuriakos was born on the 10th of February 1805 in Kerala, the youngest of six children of a devout Catholic couple. Kuriakos was ordained priest in the year 1829. Almost immediately, he joined Father Thomas Palakal, under whom he had studied, and Father Thomas Purukara in co-founding what was to become, in due course of time, one of the largest Indian religious congregations for men, that is, the Carmelites of Mary Immaculate. With the passing away of the two co-founders, the task of nurturing the fledging congregation fell on Father Kuriakos, who took the name Kuriakos Elias of the Holy Family when he made his profession on obtaining canonical approval for his order in 1855. With Father Kuriakos's genius and geniality holding sway within his lifetime itself, the congregation had opened no less than six houses in Kerala, the first being established in Mananam. The founding of seminaries, schools and a home for the aged soon followed. Training of catechumens and holding annual retreats for priests and lay people were other activities his congregation introduced, besides setting up printing presses to spread spiritual, catechetical and devotional literature. In 1861, a certain bishop was sent by the Calchidan Patriarch to report on the condition of the Syrian church in Malabar. The bishop shrewdly exceeded his mandate and pretending to hold papal authority, illicitly started exercising jurisdiction. For the Kuriakos, a vicar apostolic of Velapoli firmly resisted and succeeded in turning the tide against Bishop Rokos and thus winning back the parishes with the bishop having to beat a hasty retreat. For the Kuriakos, whose devotion to a blessed mother was known to be exemplary, lived as he preached, staunch in his prayer life and always concerned about others. Upon his death on the 3rd of January 1871, his mortal remains were laid to rest in Kovanamu. He was beatified on the 8th of February 1986 by Pope John Paul II and was canonized on the 23rd of November 2014 by Pope Francis.